All right, Zone 3 Podcast. I am at the Irata Med booth with Kevin. And we're looking at the True Sense FMD that they have. So with this FMD, it looks pretty cool. What do you guys got going on here? Yeah, so we got a few couple new things that, uh, that we're launching at this show from what we had last year. Um, but really, the big thing is all FMDs, you know, they do a good job of detecting ferrous metal. Right. The things that we do, bring to the table, is we actually use the True Sense technology that we came out with. And we're actually tracking the movement of the of the ferrous metal out there. So when you got a busy zone three area, okay. um, chairs swiveling, people rocking, you know, going in and out. Yeah. Um, all those set up all the other FMDs. You know, the lights will blink and this and that. With us, we will only make a audible or a visual alarm when we see stuff moving towards zone four, actually coming towards it. Oh, nice. Yep. So you kind of you can kind of anticipate it because sometimes at some of the door entrances, mm -hmm. there's lights that's always blinking, right? Yep, you've seen it. And we've seen always. it too when the scanner starts, the gradients start going. You know, that changes the magnetic field enough where they go. Um, mm -hmm. So for us, that's the big thing we're doing is, is when this thing makes an alarm, whether audible or visual, that it actually means something, right? We're getting right. rid of the, all the alarm fatigue. And, awesome. um, you know, Radiman, we do a really good job of finding small signals in a noisy environment from the ECG, from the monitors. So we've used a lot of that same software engineering so we can find these little ferrous signals in zone three and yeah. move it. And then we just track how they go. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I noticed that this thing has an LED monitor yeah. too. So yeah. not just are you tracking it, but it could pinpoint where that ferrous yeah. object is. 100%. And so we do a couple things here. So this is our RALU, our it's a remote control. Um, it's wireless. So it doesn't have to be right next to the entryway system. Mm -hmm. Everything is touchscreen, simple, easy to use. We do a couple things. On the bottom of the screen too, with a focus on improving MR safety, and making everything aware, we actually have a, a tally of how many ferrous items have gone into the zone four. So that way, each each tech can, can see how they're doing and they can compare to the shift before them um, the whole week, see how you're doing and compared to, the, compared to the whole month, right? And so we got these up and running all the time, visible with a, so it's a constant um, um, improvement, I guess, right. uh, on MR safety. So we also use the stop signs that are up there. So we see something ferrous coming towards the towards the room. We'll we'll display the universal stop sign up there, and that hopefully will um, will prevent people from going through. A couple of the unique things that we're bringing to the to the market on this one here is we're, our location detection. Not only do we blink the lights on the side, but we give a real visual description. We use the touch screen here, so you can see right here that somewhere on this patient right here is where we detected that the, the ferrous item was. And it's just things like that that make it real simple and easy for sure. um, and intuitive for, for the techs to help get this patient ready for MR. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things too that's kind of unique here. So I'm just gonna get it out of this demo mode. And, um, oops, maybe I didn't do that. Oh, there we go. Um, and so we're also bringing to market too, we've got this pause feature. So a lot of our customers who've had this, um, you know, have, have described a scenario where they've got the MR table that goes in and out. Yeah. You know, it's part of the MR system, it's safe, or conditional, I guess, but it does have ferrous components. Um, and so every time it goes in, that's a joint commission log, right? It goes on, on there and it's just, you gotta manage a bunch of alarms now right. that, the, that the FMD is going. So if you got a critical care patient or anesthesia workflow, those types of things, we've got a pause button right here where they can do that. And you see for 120 seconds, for, for two minutes, we'll actually pause the system. So they're not managing a bunch of alarms um, and audible alarms and things like that they go through. It also will will make that log on on our log that things going through there were it was during pause and it was it was for this particular workflow. Um, so when the, when the countdown's done, it will automatically re-engage itself. So um, you know, or they can push the play button and now it's armed again and it'll start working and alarming and, and catching all the things. So nice. those are some of the the unique things that we brought. Uh, we're bringing to the software update on, on this now, year's FMD. I noticed that the date is a little bit in the future. Is that because yeah. this is futuristic? Futuristic, you got it. Yep. <laughs> nice. Got the it. other things we also do is when we have the when the door open status, we have these little true sense uh, sensors up top. Keep an eye on the door. So we know the door is open. We actually will display stop signs as people are up there approaching. Oh. We see Ferris, and which is this simple, intuitive thing that's out there. If you think about it, like we've all been to a Target or a Walmart or a grocery store. <laughs> We all walk out and you hear the beep, right? Yep. Everybody looks around, nobody knows, people just keep going, right? <laughs> right. And so you got that risk too in the MR, especially at night, maybe uh, there's not a tech there, it's a cleaning crew, somebody doesn't know, they don't know what something game. beeps, and then they got a floor buffer in the room. Oh, man. We're this, universal, no matter what language, people know a stop sign. <laughs> that's that's out there. So awesome. those are some of the, the two new things that we brought, we're bringing to the market in the software upgrade. 
for the FMD this year. And this is retrofitted. I know you kind of have a frame here, but this is actually retrofitted to the MRI door itself. Yeah, yeah. So what so, we're really looking at is the yeah. technology here. Mm -hmm. So, oh, awesome. so how the system works is you've got. Let me. Let me. Uh, oops. Sorry. So, I mean, just so it's not blinking as I'm moving around here. But the, <laughs> how, the system's got four main components. You've got a left side and a right side. And these are, these are where a lot of the ferromagnetic detection sensors are that, are that are in the sides here, as well as the LED lights. And then, so these are here. Then you've got a top bar here, which is these are the true sense sensors. And so they're the ones that are looking out. We look straight down and we're looking back towards the door, right? So we've got six sensors that are just tracking movement. Oh, um, nice. So that in combination with, with, with our ability to detect, um, you know, a ferrous items, that's how we know which direction it's going. And then we've got the touch screen on this side. Nice. Yep. Awesome. And because it's all these pieces, you can go easy to go any size door. Um, it's super simple. We're the only one on the market, too, that a Biomed can install. Um, oh, nice. That's out there. So we don't need that makes it super need easy. construction crew. So we designed it for all those 10, 11,000 scanners that are out there that need need something right. out of the box. You can go and you don't have to make no. any changes to your facility. No time or anything. Really. No electricians, no permits, literally out of the box. I'll make and get it going about within about an hour. Oh, wow. Yep. That's almost too easy. An hour. Yep. Oh, my God. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, Kevin, thank you for your time. You I know it. you guys are busy at this booth. Zone 3 Podcast, checking out this True Sense FMD. Just more new technology keeping us safer out there. So we can't wait to see what you guys got next. You got it. Thank you. Zone 3 Podcast, we are out.